Good evening. I know it's been a long time since I made a video and I will explain in a bit why it's been so long. But I wanted to get one made here. I have lots of sheet music. Some I've purchased, some has been given to me, and I've been wanting to do something with it. And I saw a video from Paper Craft D and she had done a tag book and she um, had used music paper. I think it was a digital download from Dear Julie Julie. So it inspired me to make some journaling cards. I have these um, index cards. Couldn't think of what they were. And I tried coffee dyeing them and they just did not turn out. They did not, for some reason, didn't take the design very well. But the back looks really cool. And it's light enough that you could write on the back and still be able to see what you wrote. So I thought, well, maybe I could put music paper on the front and then use the back for journaling. So I am going to make some journal cards tonight and I will explain what has been happening in my life as I glue music paper down. My youngest daughter um, had oral surgery back in on November 3rd, I believe it was. And ended up getting infected. She had three more surgeries in January. She ended up in the hospital. She had to have a pick line put in. We had to go to the hospital every day, week after week after week, to get her infusions. And it was quite an ordeal. They said if it would have gone to her brain, it could have killed her. And so we are very, very happy that that didn't happen. But it's been a long, long, long ordeal. They did do a, an MRI in the middle of April. And it showed that the infection is gone. So that was good. Well then, I don't know if it was like a week later or something. My husband, he and I both had been sick, and he just wasn't getting better. He'd had bronchitis and stuff, and we thought that he just needed to go in and get another breathing treatment and get another antibiotic. Come to find out, he had blood clots in both lungs. So we could have lost him, too. So then he was... In the hospital for a while and out of work for a while and then um, he went back to work and then my mother-in-law fell a couple times and now she's in the hospital so we have had quite the year so I haven't been down in my craft room doing anything oops I <laughs> had two pieces of paper here I didn't know it ah. I've still been doing my coffee dyed papers and some of that kind of thing, but I haven't been down in my craft room. And as you can see around in my project here, it's still a mess. But I thought her music tags were so pretty and it inspired me to make some. But I just love how the design came out on these on the back. Yeah, this day with my daughter. Oh my goodness. We'd leave early in the morning and we were gone at least four hours a day, sometimes more, depending on if she had doctor's visits or tests or things. So, yeah, it was quite, quite the ordeal. Okay, let's see what I'm going to put on here. I had a piece of paper that was kind of my pattern. Oh, there it is. But I didn't think there was enough stuff on here. It looked too bare. So I'm going to tear from the center of this music. I don't usually like wasting paper, but I have so much music. And we can use the little bits and pieces for clusters and things. I don't even know if I'm in frame here. It's going to take a bit to get used to doing all this again. 
Hopefully they haven't changed the how you upload things and everything on YouTube because I haven't done it for so long. My daughter was putting adding something in our Etsy shop the other day and they've changed how you put your pictures in and stuff and I don't know if there was anything else that changed but I'm kind of out of the loop of everything. There we go. I have to find out where everything's at in my craft room again. So we just found out today that my mother-in-law is not progressing as fast as they... Well, I mean, we knew she wasn't progressing as fast as they wanted, but she is going to have to go to a nursing home for at least four weeks or more and then we'll see what happens after that. My youngest daughter said, Mom, there better not have anything happened to you or her sister. It's like, yeah, we don't need any more hospital admissions here. Then on this one, I thought I would put some of the Tim Holtz little girls. I thought they looked cute. I'll have them stand down here so they're not just floating in the air. And I'm actually going to put color on some of them. They're not all going to be neutral. I love the neutral look, but I've been wanting to Make some, you know, like a sewing journal and different, you know, cooking cookbook one. So we'll see. Those I thought of doing color. That is cute. Let me ink up the edge of this. going through just grabbing things to see what might possibly look good on these journaling cards so hopefully it goes well. Like I said hopefully I am in frame. There that is cute. So first one done. I'll set that aside and grab another one. I just thought these turned out so pretty on the back. I'll do that one. So sometimes bloopers end up being a plus. Let's see. I never know which side to use. And we've had such a mild spring. I haven't gotten too much coffee done done outside. We've had rain and wind and so this week I only got out there one day. Last week I did get more done but I have to get enough done over the summer to get me through the winter for orders in my Etsy shop. And last year, or this, well, this year, by the end of the winter, I was running out of some of the designs. I was still able to fill orders, I just didn't have as big of a selection. So now I have a bunch more. And hopefully next week, oh, it's supposed to get in the 90s, I don't like it that hot, but but it should be good for coffee dyeing as long as the wind doesn't come up. We'll see. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Then I cut one of these. I was thinking that would make a cute pocket. 
Let me ink this first. I was hoping I'd get three of them done, but I don't know if I will get that many done. We'll see. So now that I've made my first video, hopefully I can keep going here. It's just difficult to get back in the groove of it again. It's kind of scary when you could have lost two of your family members. And boy, it's just... I know it's hard on the patient, but for the family and running... I am not a person to run all the time. I'm more of a homebody, so going every day, taking her to the hospital. And it's in a town that's a few miles away. So, and there were so at least once, if not more that we'd just get back into town and we get a call saying, can you come back to the hospital? It's like, oh my goodness. So we'd have to run back in again. I think that's too too big for my pocket. I don't want it quite that big. I want my tag to show more. That's a pretty good size. And I don't even know where my hole punch, or my um, circle punch is. So what I will do, <laughs> in a pinch, you'd have to improvise, right? Whoops, where's a pencil? Oh, there's a pen. So I'm just going to draw a half circle. But yeah, it was exhausting. So once she was done with her infusions, oh my goodness, we both just crashed. I didn't do anything for a few days. <laughs> So I feel for people who have children and family members that are going through very serious traumatic things. You know it's hard, but when you're actually going through it, and I was thinking of people who have, you know, children with cancer and stuff, that's even a much longer ordeal than what we went through. It's got to be very hard. Okay, so this is going to be a pocket on here. It's going to bother me. There's a little music hanging off the side there. So I may have to trim it later. Okay, there's that. And this is from a Tim Holtz pack. That was pretty. Tonight I am going to a town near here. Their public library is doing a how to make a paper bag journal. So I'm really curious. My guess it's like a junk journal kind of thing. I don't know anyone in this area that makes them, so I'm kind of excited because I'm hoping that I can connect with maybe someone else around here who does this kind of thing. So I am excited to go to that tonight. don't know if I need some cheesecloth. Let's see. don't want to cover up too much of that because it's so pretty. But I didn't know if the flowers stood out enough against that. Maybe they need something behind them. I 
I have been having trouble with index cards with coffee dyeing. I had gotten some at a garage sale once, coffee dyed them, they just turned out gorgeous. Put them in my Etsy shop, then those got used up, and the ones I make after that just hardly turn out. And then I got to thinking, the ones I got at a at the garage sale, I think were like an estate sale, so they were probably older. So the paper was different. But I haven't found ones that that will coffee take the coffee dye very well. So I'm a little frustrated because that people seem to order those quite a bit. And then a lot of them also, they either don't take the dye well, and the lines come off. Well, then it just looks like a piece of cardstock that's been coffee dyed, so I don't know. I found some at a garage sale recently, but I haven't had a chance to try coffee dyeing on them yet. My goodness, I didn't get very far at all. Only two. But they look cute. I am happy with how they turned out. And this one, I don't think I have a tag that's done, but I can grab a plain one just a minute. The tag in there. Ah, that didn't look good. I don't know. Anyway, you get the idea. So thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you much more often now. Have a great evening. Bye.